Live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Dell Technologies World 2019. Brought to you by Dell Technologies and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to theCUBE's live coverage of Dell Technologies World here at the Sands Expo in the Venetian in Las Vegas. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Stu Miniman. We have two guests this segment. We have Evaristus Mainsa, he is the General Manager, IBM Cloud Private Ecosystem, and Brendan Kincaid, Vice President, Strategic Partners, Cloud and Cognitive Software, both at IBM. Thanks so much for coming on the show. Thank you, Rebecca. Yes, Thanks thank you very us. much for having us. So the word on the street, it is a multi-cloud world. It is, it is, the, the debate over public and private cloud, it's over, we know it's both. And, and we know it's multi-cloud. So can you talk a little bit about how this partnership is making it easier for customers? Sure, so first, we have a very um, strong, multi-faceted partnership with the Dell Technologies family of companies. So for instance, our partnership with VMware dates back some 10 years. Um, IBM was the first major cloud provider to bring the full VMware SDDC stack to clients. Uh, we're also the world's largest operator of VMware workloads. So for us, uh, we have great experience working with VMware and the Dell Technologies family of companies on premises as well as in the cloud. So Dell's a major infrastructure partner and supplier to us. Um, we also have created a, a new offer that we're showing here at the show, and it is uh, around what we're doing with uh, IBM Cloud Private on Dell Technologies VX Rail. Um, in addition, you know, IBM, we, we, we've partnered with them for so long and in so many ways, uh, we've seen great results, we've seen consistent year-over-year -year growth, with particularly with our VMware partnership, and um, We've established a connection as well between Dell Data Protection Solutions and IBM Cloud with Data Domain being able to tier out to IBM Cloud Object Storage. So the relationship between IBM and Dell Technologies allows our joint customers to really uh, capitalize on what they're doing on premises, on the public cloud, and truly as a hybrid cloud. All right, so Everestis, I wonder if you could help you know, bring us into that IBM cloud private solution a bit. Uh, you know, I, I had long history looking at you know, the IBM VMware. You know, IBM was one of the you know, big companies that helped you know, bring virtualization. I remember wonderful commercials used to be like, I'm in the data center, where did everything go? It's like, oh, we virtualized it. And it just you know, had, had a big rack of you know, IBM blade servers. So, IBM Cloud, Cloud Private, something I'm familiar with, I'm not sure how much of the world knows that piece of the IBM Cloud story, so maybe just bring us up, up to date as to where that is, and I, I tell you myself, a little surprised, but it's like, oh, you know, a few years ago, talking about like, you know, Dell hardware as part of that solution would, would, have, would have surprised a lot of people. This is not IBM of a few years back. Oh, absolutely, thank you, Stu. So the IBM Cloud uh, Private, it really is a jewel in the crown of our overall hybrid cloud strategy. So we talk about uh, hybrid being pretty much everything now because every single client will have some infrastructure and some solutions and apps that either live in the private cloud, they live in the data center, they live in multiple uh, public clouds that all need to be integrated. And what IBM Cloud Private does is it provides a, a, a layer built around containers and Kubernetes to enable clients to begin the journey, to begin the modernization of their apps. It's designed to be multimodal, so because it's truly hybrid, we want to meet clients where they are. So if clients are running on Z, for example, it runs on Z. It obviously runs on, uh, on, on, on VX, on, on the IBM Dell, uh, uh, as, uh, sorry, on Dell as well. So, I, I love you, you're hitting a bunch of buzzwords for me, you know, you can talk <laughs> containerization, Kubernetes, uh, we'll have theCUBE, I'll be at uh, KubeCon Barcelona yeah. in just a few weeks, I've talked to lots of IBM executives, we know the commitment to uh, uh, IBM in that space. I'd uh, love to talk a little bit about the application space there, because yes. hybrid applications and modern, uh, you know, pieces there is still, you know, interesting to see where that is uh, compared to, say, just virtualized environments that uh, they might have had in the past. Yes, yeah, so the, the, the value of having your applications uh, sort of run as micro services and containers is that you can create small pieces of the app 
and you can get uh, you can get to value much more quickly. So the old days that you wrote apps, you write one big monolithic application that did a lot of different things. Sometimes you had to shut down your data center in order to do upgrades. But with micro uh, services running containers, you can write once in a small container. You can then deploy that container across a variety of different both public and private clouds without having to rewrite that app. So it's basically, it enables you to be able to write once and run anywhere. And that really helps uh, drive innovation. Can, right. you, can you give us some specific use cases? I mean, I, I know that there is no cookie cutter solution. Every organization's needs are, are different. But can you talk about how some companies, even without naming names, are, are using these products? So we have uh, companies that use this uh, in reservation systems in order to deal with, uh, with changes, with rebooking. We have some clients that have done that. And in fact, uh, the best way to think about this is uh, the results that we get from studies. So recently, um, we had a study done by Ovum recently looking at clients that use both our IBM Cloud Private as well as a multi-cloud manager. A multi-cloud manager is an interesting product because it enables you to be able to see and manage workload across a variety of different clouds, both private and public, as long as those clouds are built and open, which is central to the way that we work. And they found that there was a 75% productivity benefit from deploying cloud native apps, uh, from deploying IBM Cloud Private and multi-cloud manager. All right. So, Brendan, in the keynote this morning, Pat Gelsinger, the CEO of VMware, said that their SDD C stack is, you know, the, you know, infrastructure piece that's going to live in the multi-cloud world. Talk about how that fits into, you know, your solution, and you know, what what sure. what, what IBM seeing broadly about so, that? Well, uh, IBM's strategy is really around five basic tenets. It is hybrid, hybrid, multi-cloud, open secure and managed. So for us, that's what we see from clients. Our research shows us that in, in the enterprise, most, over 94% of the customers are using multiple public clouds. Yet, only 20% of the workloads have moved there to date. So the real opportunity is around the other 80% of business applications that need to be able to move to the cloud, but they need to do so with security and the ability to manage across both on-premises, private clouds, and multiple public clouds. So what causes the, the, that change, that discrepancy? I mean, what, what would you say are the reasons for that? Is that, is that sort of entrenched attitudes within the workforce? I, or what, I, I think the, that process is largely manual today and it has major implications around security. It, there's also a lack of consistent um, cloud management and automation services to make that easier for clients to deploy. So how do you help customers deal with this? I mean, I, I, we know that there's sort of people, process, and technology. Technology in a lot of ways is the, is the easy part. So how do you bring customers along in that journey and make sure that everyone is on board? Uh, one of the ways in which we do this is actually using the IBM Garage, where you bring uh, all the key stakeholders together. And it's a, it's, it's a process that begins with bringing the stakeholders together, identifying a minimum viable product that you can go implement, uh, something that's small enough that you can do with low risk, because the key is not to buy too much uh, that you can't chew, but big enough that it's impactful because this is not something that you throw away. Then you code that solution, uh, you run the solution, you deploy it, and then you manage it. And then you do a retrospective to see how that worked. And then you go through the same process again to pick your MVP too. That way you can help clients in their journey by basically beginning where they are, picking the most needy uh, solutions, and then getting them on that journey. And they're seeing results too, and which then reinforces the process. And they can see results too. And in fact, uh, there's a Forrester uh, report that came out recently looking at a subset of IBM Cloud private customers that showed a 40% improvement in, in, in the productivity of your developers. 
uh, including a return of a payback of 11 months and a return of more than 200%. Much of that driven, uh, clients said, by the ways in which IBM has configured uh, the Kubernetes and containers into uh, a, a, a stable, uh, low risk, um, easy to consume, and cost effective offering. So, Brendan, one of the things we've really seen at this show is Dell Technologies and VMware field and channel are really rallying together on the, when it comes to go-to-market uh, on the cloud solutions. Uh, IBM's no slouch when it comes no, to no. services and, and go-to-market there. So, so how, how do all these pieces fit together for, from that So, standpoint? very co highly complementary, in fact. So, if we look at the work we've done with VMware on IBM Cloud, we have over 1,700 customers, meteoric year-over-year -year growth. Um, we, we have been able to deploy probably more enterprise workloads on VMware Cloud than any other provider to date. Um, and, and I think that we really see that this all fits together. IBM has strength in services. IBM services are you know, one of the leading system integrators in the world. Uh, we have capabilities from managing on-premises to the public cloud, and our sweet spot is really working in the hybrid cloud and dealing with these complex workloads that enterprise customers have, right? These are the easy apps have already been put on the cloud. It's, it's the more difficult, complex ones that still remain on-premises, and the challenges around moving those and, and taking advantage of a true hybrid environment that present an opportunity for clients to improve their business capabilities, as well as for IBM, Dell, VMware, et cetera. So for the customers who are watching at home and are tantalized by what they're hearing here, what is the best way for them to get engaged uh, and get more information about this partnership and the solutions that we've been talking about today? I think the, the, the best thing is to get started where you, where you are, right? And uh, if you are a Dell uh, customer, then of course the, uh, the, the, the solution that runs on Dell EMC VX Rail uh, is a hyper-converged uh, hybrid cloud platform, which means you know, you've basically got your compute, you've got your storage, you've got your networking all in one. Uh, one of the issues often is where to get started and customers get stuck sort of wondering about choices. You've got something here that's effective, you can think of it as a cl private cloud in a box with IBM Cloud Private on top of it. You can basically get started and get started trying to write your very first app, modernizing your existing apps or writing new cloud natives on that platform. Yeah, uh, I, I happen to see a big IBM booth when you first walk into Expo Hall. I, I'm, I'm curious, are people surprised to see IBM here? Do they comprehend it? What, what are some of the conversations you're having? I, you know, I don't think so. I think last year we were Dell Technologies um, System Integrator Partner of the Year. We were VMware's um, Cloud Partner of the Year. And this year, just recently at Partner Leadership Summit, VMware announced us as their Integrate Public Cloud Partner of the Year. So that is really, Integrate Public Cloud is about what we do integrating on premises with the public cloud. So uh, I don't think there should be any surprise. We're, we're uh, strategic partners with the Dell Technologies family of companies. There's a lot of synergy and complementary offerings. And um, we've got some powerful solutions that are differentiated and really bring value to clients. Well, Everestus, Brendan, thank you so much for coming on theCUBE. It's been a great conversation. Thank you very much. Great, thank, thank you, you very much. Us. I'm Rebecca Knight for Stu Miniman. We will have so much more coming up of theCUBE's live coverage from Dell Technologies World. Stay tuned.